Hello everybody, welcome back to part C of our episode 2 playthrough of Let's Play of Life is Strange. Hold on, Chloe. And this is where we left off, right here, where Chloe was stuck on the railroad. What's that noise? The train! Oh shit! Come on, Chloe, get your foot out of there. How could it be that stuck? I don't get that. All right, Chloe, look. Uh, Matt, go. you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Move! I don't want to die here! Come on, Max! Hurry. What am I supposed to do? Uh, fuse box. Let's look at this lever here. I need to pull look. the switching lever right now. And pull it. I can't. can't even move it of course. An inch. Fuse box. Look. Maybe I can open this fuse box. Awesome. It's not locked. Maybe. The train's coming! Max, please! I better find a tool to cut those wires. What? Max, oh my get god. Out of here. Where the hell am I going to find a tool at? Please. Up here. Please. This ain't going to work. I'm hosed. There's only one way around All right. This. Yeah, I'd say. So, got to rewind this crap. Need enough time to find a tool to cut the wire on the fuse. Shit! I can't budget at all! Oh, come on. Really? There we go. No? Ah, oh, toolbox right here. Oh, that's Hurry. brick. Crowbar. Take. I can definitely use this bad boy. Crowbar in here. Alright, got in. There's got to be some wire cutters in here. Which drawer? Of course I opened the wrong one first. Come on. There we go, go, go. Come on. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. That's right, Max. Get back down there. Screw it around. Let me run. I'm coming, Chloe! Come on. Maybe I can open this fuse box. Rewind a little bit here. Don't want to see her die again, or even get close. Please, get me out of here! Which one now? Like, I know which wire to cut. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. But which wire to cut? It's worth a try, though. Yellow. Yellow is... <laughs> Whoa! Short That's circuit great. city. So I need to rewind again. Oops. Of course I would pick the wrong one first. No, there's two more wires still, I think. Please, get me out of here. Uh, go for the green. But which wire to cut? Oh, stupid light! No go! Shit! Haha! <laughs> could I be any more wrong? Oh, well, we know it has to be the right one now. Now, that's, now that's the right cable. Should have known the right cable. Come on, Max. Huh? Yes, I did it. Huh? Wow. Good job, Max. I only needed to rewind it five times. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. 
That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away, Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate huh. spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Ah. So we're gonna finish this uh, episode up in this in this video. I don't know how long this is gonna go. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. <laughs> Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! <laughs> like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah. Alright, so we're back for art class or something. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Photography class. So are you going to that board too? Oh wow. Should I talk to this a-hole or not? I have the sweetest outfit. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Yes. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Yeah, right. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Wow, what a jackass. Yep, don't like him. Trevor surveys his domain. Huh, should I talk to this guy? If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Yeah. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. 
That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Uh huh. Into the world party. If my tornado vision came true, it would be the end of the world. Huh. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Huh. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented, what more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Yep, that's stuff where she said that her in the first episode, Victoria had said that I was sexting with Zach, uh, her friend or whatever. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Who's Justin? Justin always looks stoned. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I don't. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Join us. Or die. <laughs> that snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Does anybody believe this shit? This is where shit gets real. Don't miss it. This Thursday, 10th of October. Hmm. Alright, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Can't go in the girl's room. Run down here, I guess. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Oh, here we go. can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Can I talk to her? I don't think so. What do you want from me? Just leave me alone. Huh. Kate. Kate. Don't run from me, Stop. Kate. Don't come near me. Tell the principal on you. Principal, Kate won't talk to me. Sub loser. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. 
She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. And Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Huh. That went well. Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Wow. There's Stella. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. I'd say. Tina, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like Daniel is always on the outside looking in. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Hey, Alyssa. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to I the principal. I can't believe the principal we lets him stay in school well. after I told him what we'll happened. Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. Oh, burn! Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Uh oh. Assholes. Yeah. Both of them, by God. But without them, how would this uh, game be so good, huh? How would this game be so much fun? So entertaining. Without the assholes. Without the bad guys. There's Kate. Crying in the rain. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Take a photo of him. Now this is so wrong. And weird. Hmm. Uh, where's my freaking camera? I can't look at it. I can't do nothing. I can do a set here. Wait for this guy. What up, Max? What up? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? 
I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Huh. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remain seated. Huh. Dismissed. What's going on? Wow. See that? Is this for real? It flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. What did Kate do now? Run, Max, run. I'm holding shift down. Who is that up there? Oh no! She can't die. She can't. Oh, what the hell? Kate. I'm gonna get a bloody Not nose again. Huh? Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Uh, what do I do? I can't catch her, can I? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the hell to do. I ain't got that much time to do anything. Okay. Look at the raindrops suspended in there. Okay. Keep going, Max. You can do it. I guess I'm trying to get up there to catch her. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to do? Be her hero. How do I shove freaking Victoria in front of her, or where she lands, so she lands on Victoria and kills Victoria? How do I do that? Okay, what am I doing now? Looking for something, I guess. David's punk ass. People are just freaking watching. Slap the frick out of this bastard. That'll help. He was just smoking and watching. Damn. Sad. Alright, I gotta think. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Can I go in this door? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Left mouse button. Oh, to go to the roof. Okay. Gotcha. I didn't think I'd have time to get up there. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Go and grab her. Come on, Maxine. Don't worry about your bloody nose right now. You're fixing to have your friend freaking jump oh. off the damn building. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Because of that video. And what's sad is this stuff actually happens. I mean, people get picked on in these schools, and, you know, they actually take their life over this petty crap. The cyberbullying and, and stuff. It, it really is sad. Uh, you matter, not just to me. 
You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. Yeah, Kate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Come on, Kate, don't jump. I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Uh... I needed more time to investigate on my own first. But we have to be careful. You get to be careful. But I'm the one in the goddamn video. Too late, Max. You're no. too late. Yes, I know I screwed up. I'm sorry, Kate. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. Wow. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. It's true. Once it gets out on the web. Once something like that gets out on the web, I mean, people are going to be downloading it and copying it. and <laughs> You're never going to be able to, to get it back. I mean, even if you get the website where it was uploaded to delete it, other people are going to have recorded it. or uh, It's so messed up. Uh, there are billions of videos. Be strong. Everybody will forget. I don't know what to say. This sucks. Be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore, either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. Yay! All right. You're my friend. Wow, that's cool. Forever. Can we hug on it? Don't jump. No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! You said you'd just come down. Come on, Kate. This is messed up. My eyes are teary about this crap. Okay, let's see. Uh, your mother? I don't think your mother cares. Your father. I don't know. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See? You're not alone. And nobody down there wants Grab to her. see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. That's right. Let's try, Max. But God put me on this roof. No, you put yourself on the roof. Uh, Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. I got one right, and I was low as luck. I don't remember that. That was the right answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. It's pretty sad. Really? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young Blackwell, huh? Yeah, you saved her, right? Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. What a jackass. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duty seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. 
What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Huh. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Yeah, like I'm going to tell you I can rewind time. You freaking douche. Uh, David bullied her. Jefferson made her cry. No, I'm not gonna say Jefferson made her cry. That's not true. It's it's got to be Nathan Doster or David bullied her. I'm gonna say Nathan. Uh, no, I'm gonna say David for now. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow up! Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little sh Are you going to take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max. I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say. Huh. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. Yeah, he looks like it. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Uh, no, I'm not gonna freaking. I'm gonna sign it. I'm not gonna rewind it. Going with that, punk ass David, punk ass Nathan too. But I'm. Well, I think we know less not now. Not blaming this on my freaking art teacher, my we'll photography be assisting teacher. the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you. For so full of shit. I hate all these mofos in this room except for the photography teacher. Room of evil. Principal Nathan and David. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. It's a pretty sunset. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. Wow. I would.
I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I think that's it. Pretty sunset, pretty eclipse. Oh, that lady needs to give that dude up. Interesting. Poor Kate. Ah, what a stressful game, huh? I mean, the game's cool, but uh, this is almost too sad and too realistic. And you know, life is full of uh, bad crap. If you're okay, Kate. This clip freaks me out. Well, I hope that Chloe is there for me at the end. Gotta find Rachel, too, before this is all over. Find out what happened to her, anyway. Hopefully she's still alive. Last episode did it about Rachel, too. Kate, Zach? Was it, what did that say? Is that what that said? Huh. Interesting. So, there's a lot of things going on in this in this story. You know, we got this whole Kate viral video thing that kind of came up this episode, but we still have the whole missing Rachel uh, thing. We have, you know, Victoria being a bitch. We have Nathan pulling guns on Chloe in the bathroom and the principal not believing me. Uh, we have David hitting and abusing Chloe and being a punk ass and have him, he has something to do with picking on Kate and probably something to do with who knows what all. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that has to be resolved before this story, uh, comes to an end. And I hope this game does a good job of resolving and tying everything up nicely. I'm hoping it doesn't leave some big open ending, you know. Uh, like some of these games do. I have a feeling that that was a sad scene in this video, but I have a fat, I have a bad feeling that this whole thing is going to end with a super, super sad scene. Uh, I've kind of had that feeling since episode one, but we'll find out what happens. You know, I've already bought the series, uh, legit series, so be sure you watch it here or with somebody that's actually buying the series, supporting the game, not somebody that's downloading a torrent and uploading. Uh, you know, unfinished versions before they're actually even out. Yeah, I, I know that this uh, episode two came out. People were saying episode two was out way back, like early February, you know, six weeks ago. And people were putting it up on YouTube. Episode two, well, it wasn't the, you know, legit version that just launched, obviously. And not only that, they're not paying for it. So make sure you're watching somebody that's at least supporting the, the real game and make sure they're uploading the legit version because it could be different. Uh, be sure you put it down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of this episode here. Did it give you some teary eyes? It definitely 
it definitely put a couple of tears in my eyes. Uh, that that scene was pretty damn sad. Uh, so thankfully we get to make the right choices and be a hero for somebody at least in a game. You can learn from a game like this, guys. You know, care for somebody, care for your friends, show them you really care, whether it be your family, your friends, whoever it is. Be there for somebody because we only get one chance. Uh, something like that happens, we can't rewind time in real life. So make sure you show people you love them, make sure you tell them you love them, and make sure you show them you care. It's important. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Be sure you leave your comments down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Be sure you rate this video if you liked it. Let me know what you think about the, you know, everything, whatever it is. Put it down in the comments below. I'd like to read that. And uh, we'll see you in uh, episode three when it comes out, probably in another couple of months. So thanks for watching. This has been Zaxter99. We'll see all of you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.